Welcome to Reframe the Heck Out of Your Challenges. A warm welcome if you are here live. It is so great to be in the same time space with you. And also a warm welcome if you're watching the replay. It's great to be with you as well. So this video is for you if you've had a couple huge challenges throughout your childhood and your adulthood, of course, and you want to take that challenge or those challenges to a massive, and I mean a massive breakthrough. I'll share my latest aha moments that got me to a new level of breakthrough with a 30 year old challenge one of my biggest challenges in my life. Let's dive in. I'm super excited to share this with you. You might have experienced or not experienced that every single challenge that you have faced also holds the possibility of a breakthrough. And it might be that you have experienced that, it might not be, but I'm sure you feel that in every challenge, there's also the possibility of a breakthrough, or you might even know that. And Abraham Hicks, I love them, by the way, Abraham Hicks, they say that everything is actually two things. So one thing is actually two things the presence of something and the absence of something. And if we get back to the challenges, in this case, the challenge and the breakthrough. So each challenge also holds the energy of a breakthrough. And you might know by now that I am a big spokesperson for ease. I love ease. I think the world is complex enough and I personally, I want easy solutions. And that's what I'm here to share with you. That's what I'm here to give you, easy solutions. And one of the easiest ways to get from the challenge to the breakthrough is to reframe the heck out of your challenges. But what do I mean by that? When shit happens, it's all about the meaning making, the meaning that we give to this very thing that just happened to us. And sometimes the meaning that we make feels pretty lousy. And if that happens, if something that happened and the meaning making that you made feels shitty, it means one thing. It means that there is a bigger truth and you will recognize the bigger truth by the way it feels. So easy. And that's where the reframing of the challenge or challenges comes in. The reframing of the challenges is in fact the search for the soul aligned, your soul aligned truth. That's it. That's it. And your feelings, they are simply feedbacks from your soul. If something feels bad, it says it's not aligned with your soul. And if something feels amazing, it's super aligned with your soul. Let me share my challenge and my aha moment with you. You might have heard that before. I was diagnosed with uh, psoriasis arthritis when I was 20. And the doctors say there is no cure for it. Many of my joints are damaged. You can see that especially in my hands, my fingers. And it's from pretty painful inflammations that I mostly had in my 20s and 30s. So psoriasis arthritis is an autoimmune disease, which means my immune system attacks my own body. And after years of dealing with this disease, 
there came the point that I understood that I had a problem with self-love. Mirroring my immune system attacking my own body. I understood that I needed to love myself more to, to open up for love, to accept more love in my life. And yeah, that's what I practiced for the past 30 years, loving myself more, infusing my life with more love. Uh, that link between my health and how much I loved myself, that became very, very obvious and very clear to me. And I became super good at self-responsibility. Whenever I had an inflammation, I looked at my own aspects in it. I asked myself, hmm, had I neglected self-care? Had I not listened to my body, not given my body what it needs? Or I asked myself, could I practice more self-love? And I have to say, I was even a little proud to be so very good at self-responsibility, at discovering my own aspects when shit happens. I was proud that I wasn't victim to my disease anymore, that I was taking full responsibility for my disease, which also means I take back my power and I become the creator of my own reality. And that's where I stopped. That's the point where I stopped for years, actually. I reframed having psoriasis, arthritis from being a victim to a lifelong disease, to being fully self-responsible for my health and my well-being. And that's pretty good, right? It's pretty good because, as I said, it took me from being a victim to my disease to being the creator of my reality. But what did I miss? And I did miss something. Here's the thing. I never asked myself how it feels to be so very self-responsible. Because when I'm honest, it feels a little heavy on my shoulders to be so self-responsible. And just lately, I had this insight that I need to take the reframing of this 30-year-old challenge of having psoriasis arthritis a step further. I understood that I had stopped reframing prematurely. I have to, yeah, I have to acknowledge it, it felt okay to be self-responsible, to see my own aspects when an inflammation happened. And still feeling okay with this insight that I'm not a victim, but that I am the creator or co-creator of my reality. It's not good enough just because okay, something feeling okay isn't good enough. It's not fully aligned with my soul. Otherwise, the reframing would not just feel okay, it would feel amazing. In other words, if the reframing that you do doesn't feel absolutely great, there are more golden nuggets, more golden nuggets to reap from the challenge that you are reframing. So this aha moment, I understood that I needed to continue to reframe this challenge to get all the golden nuggets, to get the big breakthrough that this challenge holds, that I was feeling, that I was knowing this challenge holds. And let me share my golden nuggets when I kept reframing the heck out of this 30-year-old challenge. Here they are. So 
psoriasis arthritis comes with very painful inflammations of the joints. It comes with heat and where there's heat, there is fire. And that was the point where I, when I understood that psoriasis is my fire, my personal fire of transformation, transforming all the crap that has happened in my childhood and later on, and it's a lot. Transforming everything until only love is left. And only things that I love are left in my life. And no, <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I still need to go a little way. There are still things in my life that I don't love. But the fact that I only have a very, very occasional inflammation shows me that I'm on the right track. And what's most important is that this reframing, this new insight, this golden nugget, this breakthrough feels super exciting. It feels bloody amazing. And I even thought about the moment when if or when a next inflammation should come, when that happens, I'm prepared to thank my body and my soul for this fire of transformation, transforming even more of what hasn't been love in my life. So your turn to take a challenge and reframe the heck out of it, Starseed Sister. And I have just three more quick things before I wrap this video up. So first thing, I invite you to dare to tackle a big challenge because the golden nuggets, their breakthrough is gonna be big as well. So dare to pick a big challenge to reframe it. And the second thing, if the golden nugget or insight or breakthrough doesn't feel super exciting and just great, it only means one thing, one thing only. You are not done reframing the heck out of the challenge. There are more golden nuggets left for you to discover. There is a bigger and more soul aligned insight or truth that you can uncover. It just means that. And lastly, your golden nugget, your insight, your bigger truth, your breakthrough, it only needs to make sense to you. And it only needs to feel amazing to you. Nobody else needs to understand it. Nobody else needs to get it. So if you didn't get my transformation story, my golden nugget, I don't care. With all due respect, because it's my truth and it's about my soul alignment. And the same goes for you. Nobody else plays a role in there. Your golden nugget, your breakthrough needs to feel amazing to you and only you. Because it's only about your soul alignment. Okay. And now, ready to go, take your or one of your big challenges and reframe the heck out of it. I hope you're ready. And I invite you to share your biggest takeaway with us in the comments and ah, can't wait to see you again. So bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. All my love. Bye.